Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. And welcome to the Success Codes Podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. Well, happy time change. Yeah, happy time change. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's funny because I'm actually late, quote unquote, I'm using air quotes, in delivering my podcast today. Normally it comes out super early on Sunday mornings, and I was going to record it yesterday on Saturday. My brother, uh, Brian, who passed away 20 years ago, it would have been his 50th birthday. So I was going to record it, but I was up north in Fort Lauderdale at an event that was amazing, and I didn't get home till late. And when I got home, I said to Ryan, oh, I just feel like we're doing my podcast tomorrow. And then I realized that we needed to do our joint podcast. Yes. And then the topic of change came to me, and then it was perfect to record it today with the time change. See how it all magically comes <laughs> yeah. together. Yes. <laughs> yes. Magically comes together. Yeah, so, magically. So today we're going to talk about change. Yeah, we have lots of change going on. Mm-hmm. Lots of change. It's it's change not only for us, but everywhere in the in the world. Yes. It's just lots of stuff going on, and and. I think it's so, creating some fear in people. Yes, there's fear. It's funny is is that I, I read um I read was reading Yamaha's stock yesterday. I know this is kind of like, but it's funny they released a report about their engines and they said that the, and this is going with change is that they're um, they seen a they reported that they have seen a less people buying mid engine engines like 300s and 250s what are they buying so there's more people purchasing 400s and larger engines and so they're they forecasted a um, a recession as far as on their end so there's some changes going on it's so pretty that, interesting wow i'll have to read that article. yeah yeah I, I just read their end of the year forecast oh my gosh so yeah so change is in the air <laughs> Ryan always amazes me. He reads so many things, and then he just pops in these fun facts, and I'm like, "Really, dude? Where'd you read this?" So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a bit of behind the scenes in our life. <laughs> yeah, I like he's to read. very smart, and he has more attention span than I do. Yeah. So he actually reads and researches. That's actually part of your human design too, because yeah. you have the one in your profile. Yep. I digress, but anyhow, so we wanted to talk about. First of all, congratulations on the success of your eight-week intensives. I'm super excited. and I'm, Un-freaking-believable. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. Congrats to Con- everyone that yeah. joined. Yeah, congrats to everybody like, that joined. Amazing. It's, excited it's, to have you. Yeah, so it's... Thank you. I have been, like, I this style, of course, really, I really, really, really love it. Really love it. It's amazing. So when Ryan, just a little history, and for those of you that have known us for a long time, Ryan had created the Good Karma Rigging Crew during COVID, actually launched officially in October 2020, and then created the Fishing Club in January of 2023. And it was just a lot of evenings on Zoom and Ryan has a very busy charter schedule, so when he would come home, he was just exhausted. It was just a lot. And um, so we had to just make a choice, but he still wanted to be able to help those anglers with what they need in that price range. So I had come up with, it kind of just happened, this idea for the eight-week intensives. And yeah, we're on the second one already, How to Catch Big Mutton and um, Grouper. Yep. And the reef course is wrapping up. So it's going to be like this layering of one kind of being in, you know, in the middle of it and then we'll launch another one. So we're working on that strategy yeah. now, right. actually, because it's been really great. And it's been so awesome to see people come in from the rigging crew, lots of new members this time. Mm-hmm. Uh, some guys from the fishing club, and pretty much almost everyone that bought the first round with the reef course bought the mutton and grouper. So, yep. yay! Yeah, they, yeah, and I'm already seeing the results, which is an amazing testimony. Yeah, an amazing testimony. Is I'm, you know, I'm all about results, and that's what it is for me. I look at like how I, how I look at my courses like I look at my fishing charters. It's no difference. I I, I want people to succeed. 
So um, I really, really like this style about and the interaction that I have with mm-hmm. the question. The question and answers are like the sessions are amazing. I yeah. just like it. I really like it. Yeah, because so. it works for Ryan's schedule. He's yeah. like peaceful and calm, so he's able to deliver um, the anglers, guys or girls. I know sometimes we say guys, but people know that's just kind of an inclusive. I someone says, "Hey guys," to me, <laughs> I'm just part of the group. Yeah. Um, that you know they can ask questions and it's just yeah. like a lot of really great content. So yeah. that was a change, and that's the reason why huge we want to change. share that. That was a huge change, and it was really hard for Ryan to make the decision about the rigging crew. It was not an easy decision, and you know sometimes then too like there's other aspects of that when you um, decide to walk away from a piece of your business that was really good, and it was just it was time for a change. And, you know, there's an old saying, (laughs) when one door closes, another door opens. And it's really true. It's really true. So sometimes it's scary. It's scary. And you feel bad. Like Ryan really felt bad. I felt bad. I really Really did. I really, I really felt bad. And this has opened another door, Mm -hmm. like in a bigger door, a bigger door that actually has more structure because Ryan was sometimes struggling with the structure and, and like what to do. And this is making it really clear and easy for him where he can work on this on his, his days that he's not fishing. So it right. works out great. Yeah, right. So I've been, um, it's like with the podcast, when I first started the podcast, that was a, that was a huge change for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then my podcasting, oh my almost you know. Almost six years ago. Almost, it'll be six yeah. years in August. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's yeah. almost six years. And yeah, you know, the podcast is has evolved over the years and so yeah 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 so that was one thing we wanted to give a shout out to everyone on and i'm launching a business group called scale so what i just walked you all through is how we run our business and how we've scaled so this group is going to be a support group with modules with hot seat coaching so you can scale and there's going to be first a group for women and then if men are interested because I have been a coach for men for years obviously I work with my husband duh if if there's enough um, people that want to be in a group for men I would create a, a scale group for men as well so it's going to be a monthly container but I'm going to put the link in the show notes but anyhow that was like part of it was like okay we have been in business for over 12 years. We have scaled. We have pivoted. <laughs> we have done all the things. And I really want to like share that knowledge with everyone out there and help them too. Because mm-hmm. right now, as we started this podcast, like things are tough. Things things are changing. Things are evolving. And you have to be able to move and groove with the times. You have to. You have to. Um, there's a lot of change coming. And being down here um, during like when we first moved to the Keys... Um, places were boarded up. I mean, it was just a a huge, I mean, a lot of people like the short term memory is really bad. Like, but I have to tell you what, when we arrived in the keys we had 2009, 2009 short term memory. A lot of people have is that the, a lot of places were boarded up. There was no business. Um, it was tough getting a gig down here. And it's, it's been, I want to be honest with you guys, it's been a slow, it's, it's, it's slow tourist season on the, on the, on the road. The, the hotels are a little slow. Yeah. I haven't heard anyone, um, really bragging or I don't, I don't like, I don't like the word bragging, but I can't yeah. think of a better word right now. But like, you know, that business is so amazing. Yeah. So you have to be able to change. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to go with your intuition and pivot and try new things and work through your fear around that. Yeah. It's like one of my biggest fears was like when I decided, when I made the decision to like do my own thing, like not get on the radio, like. Oh, right, right, right. Yep. Yep. So yeah, what it was, that was one of the things that Ryan and I were talking about this morning was Ryan makes changes on the water all the time. And 
he uses his intuition and his knowledge versus calling other captains like on the radio. And, you know, sometimes he gets comments from clients like, why don't you call somebody else? And, you know, quite frankly, he doesn't need to. <laughs> and I have enough friends down here that husbands are captains and they, they do that as, as part of what they do. And sometimes they go to the spot and there's like nothing there, right? Right. Or it takes them more time, you know, time to travel to do that. So anyhow, but Ryan's never done that. Like he always just... Um, I just say figures it out, right? So you can say use your intuition, he knows patterns, he knows things like this. And this is a lot that he teaches in his courses, so it is really important. It's way too much for a podcast. It's definitely in the courses. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, being able to move and groove on the water is part of change. Part of change. I, like, I don't even, somebody asked, like, it's funny, I had some people the, the other day, and I was like, I, I, the, the, the radio stays off. Yeah. I do not listen to radio chatter. I never have. I have a VHF radio. If I need to call the Coast Guard, I'll call the Coast Guard with it. But otherwise, that stays in the off mode all day. Mm-hmm. All day long. And Ryan's focused. I'm like, extremely he's not focused. Listening to other people in his ears. So that's another piece, too. Right. I don't want to listen to other. Himself. You need to be focused on yourself. I don't make calls. Mm-hmm. I do my own thing. Yeah. I. And you produce. And that's produce. what I think is really important produce. for people to realize. Like, when you ask all these other people their opinions, let's say you're, you're trying to make a change, and then you're, like, asking everyone their opinion. Yeah, it's great to get feedback sometime. And if you have a coach, that makes sense. And, and there's certain circumstances and certain things. But for the most part, there's a level of, like, just trusting yourself. Yep. There's this level of trusting yourself. Trusting yourself. Are you going to get it right 100% of the time? No. And no one does. No, no one does. Like, look at, you know, big yep. name companies out there. I bet if you really sat and thought about it, you'd be like, oh, yeah, they've made some mistakes. I remember when they launched that product and it didn't work. Right. Right? And that just quietly goes away. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Is, is that Quietly goes quietly away. Quietly goes away. It's kind of like... Um, when a young guide is relying on somebody to bring them information all the time, and then all of a sudden yeah, the person they can't learn on their own. They can't learn on their own. That they were mating with like the guys have been mates, and then they freelance, and then they do all this stuff, and they've taken stuff from other captains, and like you know that like kills your intuition, mm-hmm. kills it. Yeah, because you're not developing your own. Because you have not developed your own instincts. You've relied on other people's information. So, and what happens is down here, especially, is that that stuff can go away tomorrow. Yeah. If you're not able to read and understand what's actually happening, it's like that can be taken away from you with one year. Like mm-hmm. when there's changes in the ocean, there's changes in fish migrations, dolphin fishing, for example. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much done for. Uh, Probably for another couple of years, unless we get a miraculous comeback of a change in a migration period. But we're going to be dealing with um, lighter migrations, maybe. I don't know. Every year it changes. But but you study all that. But you study it. You know when to go. You know when not to go. You just don't. So it is what it is. So, But that's what I'm saying is, is that you just have to learn how to develop yourself first. Mm-hmm. And... There's a lot of easy way outs, and clients know when you're taking the easy way out now. Yeah, yeah. So they know, they know. Yeah, to be self-reliant <laughs> is is the currency. Yeah, self-reliant. To be self-reliant is the currency, and as much as we're both coaches and we believe in coaching, like I set people up so they're self-reliant, and so does Ryan. So right. that's what is really important. Right, I'm and giving... that you're walking the walk with your mentor as they're learning, you're learning. But at the end of the day, you can still take care of things on your own. Right. Like. So it's like in my groups, like my private groups, you know, we go through like intuition changes. Mm-hmm. Like, how do I know? Yep. Like that kind of stuff. The deep dive into like fishing guide stuff and like, when do I need to be there? So that's what I'm doing in like some private, private coaching mm-hmm. right now. So. Yeah. Yep. The other thing we wanted to talk about is changing up. The people around you. <laughs> yeah, very important. The, the groups you're in. <laughs> yep. Yes, this is huge. Ignore. Yep. This is huge. And I make this part of my regular practice. Mm-hmm. And I can't 
talk about this enough. I've always been this person. I remember when I was in high school, my dad got transferred. It was middle of the year of my junior year in high school. And my parents asked me if I wanted to stay in Chicago. We lived on the south side of Chicago. And I could live with my grandparents. My grandparents were amazing and had a beautiful condo and a really nice gated country club community with a pool and a golf course. And I could stay with them and finish out high school or I could move to Ohio. And I was like, nope, I'm, I wanted to change up the energy and meet new people. <laughs> so this goes way back. Mm -hmm. And it is so important to look around at your friend groups to look around at any networking groups you're in and constantly be evaluating where are you going and where are these people and are they moving with you energetically or are they just stuck? Are they stuck? And, and you have to make a decision. And sometimes it's hard. For some of you, it may be really hard. You may be hanging out with like childhood friends for a certain reason, maybe, um, you know, there's just some loyalty there or something and there's so many reasons, but look at that look at that you might have to make changes in your relationships right. in order to to grow right and that's it's extremely important otherwise you become stagnant with your life yes you really do and then you just kind of live in your little box and your neighborhood and mm -hmm. you have your neighborhood parties with the people you can't stand oh my gosh oh my god i hear those stories down I, here it actually kind of makes me laugh yeah <laughs> oh my gosh yeah especially if you're living in a small town you got your little happy hours you do and then you got somebody that's like home and you're complaining and, and come on gossiping and about the other person that's not a good energy that's not people. good energy that's not and it's it just not. wears on you yeah. So, so yeah, and then they're probably talking about you too. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So let's call a spade a spade. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, it's fun to go to the OV and see all the sayings. It's like down here you can like talk about you know make sure you talk about me when I'm um, when I'm not around. <laughs> I always say make it juicy if you're gonna make, talk about yeah, me. Make it juicy. Make, make it juicy. juicy. I've always said that. Make like, it. This yeah. goes way back. But yeah. anyhow, so that's something to really pay attention to, and also your content. Um, I'm definitely going to call out LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn content, so many people get stuck in a rut of doing the same type of content like all the time. And it's boring. It's boring. You need to change up the frequency and energetics of your content, of your content. What are you posting? What are you sharing? Are you doing a video now and then? Are you doing just pictures of yourself? Right. Are you doing no pictures? Like mix it up. Mix it up because people yeah. get bored. They get bored. So like it's, it's, that's the truth. They get bored and mm -hmm. yeah, it's like I have to like I see the same stuff all the time and really I just like turn it all off because it's boring. It's boring. It's boring. I really like. And you've been trying to work on changing up yeah, your Instagram, and I, and right? I've been, and I've been working on changing up my, my Instagram because I'm frankly bored with it myself. Yeah. I really am. So I try to, I'm trying to do some new stuff and try to make it like I really like. Yeah, I have to, doing every, a video once in a while. Doing a video once in a while. Yeah, I can post all the the fish tables you want, and that's what, you know, I, I I'm bored with that. I'm mm -hmm. bored. I really want to see like if you want to know what I'm doing, you can book a trip with me. I'm my fishing re like it's not the place to come and see what's biting. Mm -hmm. You can you can book a trip with me, and you know then you'll then you'll see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. I think those are some things that are really important for everyone to look at and just see where you can where you can make some changes. Your content, your friendships, your relationships with others, any groups you're in. How are you scaling your business? How are you growing your business? Are you trusting yourself? Are you asking other people? And where do you have like fear and hesitation that's just holding you back from making those bold actions? Right, exactly. Yeah, and you know, it's one thing, it's like, and also too, you take care of the people that are, you know, that are in your, like, if you have somebody that's done, that that's doing some good service for you, you take care of them, you know, and then, because that, those are the people that you want in your circle. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. That could be a different podcast. It's a different podcast. Yeah. But so. I like that. That's very nice of you, Captain Ryan. Yep. <laughs> so. So what else do you want to give a shout out to? Um, yeah, I want to give a shout out to the guys in my course. Um, two, and that's like the, that's I've, I've signed up for the courses. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm also, um, a lot of you guys know this, but I've um, 
like I'm really um, I'm working with Tavernier Creek Marina on some different projects. So that tackle shop looks amazing. Yeah, the tackle shop inside. They have done so much work. It's really yeah. nice yeah and one thing about tackle <laughs> shop really yeah. nice. and one thing about tackle shops is you know i'm like i know a lot about inventory management and how to bring stuff in and how to like so i just know that from my past life so um it's it's been it's been a lot of fun so for me and i'm I, i'm working with the tackle shop right now and some stuff and um if you guys want to um stop by and check out the new shop um it's it's at chris's bait and tackle and at tavernier creek marina so yeah. we've got a lot of stuff that we're projects we're working on. Things take time because you know you just don't want to like the biggest mistakes I see a lot of um, people make is that they jump right in and they do something without like you know they buy something that may not have been the right fit for their business. So oh, okay. yeah, so um, it's just like we're, we're taking it baby steps to make sure it's right. Things are you know things are in alignment with both my charter business and what I work on in the in the. Um, with my other projects. Yeah, but you mean so. like in terms of the products in the tackle shop? Yeah. But you yeah. you've suggested to them what works for you. Yeah, well like what works for me and then we're meaning that if there's something out there that's really performing that that looks like it's performing you got to give it a long-term look to see if it's really working before you bring it in. Oh. So, in other words. So well, that's how you are in general. Yeah, that's how I am in general. I've, I've, With anything you promote, yeah, you've and, always made yeah. sure. And now I'm like a little smarter on that because I've made some not so smart purchases in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have amazing yard sales. <laughs> I, <laughs> amazing yard sales for all li- the, the live things well, that rhyme. Well, uh, live, yeah, oh fancy live well pumps. I'm so glad those days are over. Oh, Thank my you. God. They're done. Painful. Painful, painful. experiences with painful. some of that shit. So. I think there's there's two there's two lessons in that. Number one, when someone gives you something to borrow or gifts you something, it's normally their leftover junk. So yeah. number one, like yeah. no. Careful if somebody's <laughs> giving you shit. Yeah, you're like, oh that's so generous yeah. of you. And then oh, it's no. like totally no. broken piece of shit. Yeah, so totally we broken learned piece that of shit. like way back when. There's another angle the, there. Way back when. And then the other thing was Ryan was always like buying things and experimenting and a, a little a little much let's say but we got we moved on from yeah that. we moved on from so. that no like yeah it was so like, if anyone's uh, going through that especially if you're the spouse and you're like oh my god another yeah. fishing lure really uh, yeah, yeah I've been there raise my hand high yeah so, I'm not um, buying anything now unless I know that it's going to produce mm-hmm. so. Yeah, and then and then you share about that. And then I share if it works. Mm-hmm. It's a great product. You know, I'm working with a couple new. I'm thankful. I'm working with a couple new. Um, I love working with small businesses. So it's just something that I really like, um, because you know we all small businesses could use a kick. And if there's something that really like appeals to me and works for me, I enjoy helping them. Yeah. Because yeah, because I wanted. I mean, I wish somebody was there for me when I first started, and, and a couple people did step up. Mm-hmm. So, and then it's a way for me to give back and help them grow. So, and we do have media packages. So, if someone is interested in Ryan promoting, um, again, like he definitely needs to try things, but there could be other types of products out there. We don't know who all listens to this podcast, but just just reach out to Ryan, Ryan at Good Karma. Ryan, yeah, it's it's Good Karma Ryan at (laughs) gmail.com. Yeah, if you got if you if you're interested in some media, a media package, then you can contact me. Yeah, just contact offline. So, yeah, so that is super cool. Oh, and if you're at the marina, you have to eat at Habano's. So I'm just putting out a plug because oh when God. you were mentioning the tackle shop, I got hungry for the fried shrimp because it's oh really God. good. <laughs> they have, like, I've become, like, this crazy fanatical. <laughs> we have been in a while. We have to go. For thing for, for ox, tomorrow. for oxtail. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh so my I was going to say you love the conch, but yeah. now you like the oxtail. I like, they have too. oxtail on Saturdays, I think. Uh, but one thing about Habano's is that not a lot of people know this, is that they do one hell of a hook and cook and a lot of people are letting their people know about it because i see some people now bringing in fish and stuff which is great so they make the absolute best beer battered fish yeah the shrimp is amazing the beer batter i mean i have uh, i'm not a huge fan of eating kingfish um, unless it's a savete, you know but yeah we've had it but they but they make a beer battered kingfish yes that is outrageously amazing, and mm-hmm. I've actually the one of the I'll leave you this with this yeah with this funny story is I had somebody 
years ago, I had a client that was bitching at me because I was catching too many kingfish. And I was like, I can't control what's biting. And we were sail fishing. You know, I can't control what's biting. They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo that the kingfish were everywhere that day. And they, they were catching for every... So, anyways, we did catch a dolphin finally. We were live baiting. But the, I had all, as much kingfish as I wanted. So, um, so what, what I did is I know, I know the client personally. And we sat down and we had a... Um, I had Habanos cook us up um, our catch that day. After um, so I went and I had him, you know, gave him the fish. But I told him to swap out the, the um, the mahi, <coughs> and the kingfish and make them exactly the same beer batter. And I, I said I want you to give the it's because I know the guy. So so I said give this um, beer battered kingfish to to my client and tell him that it's the mahi and give me the mahi and and then um, we'll see what he says. So, of course, you know, I let my client dive in first to eat the kingfish that he thinks is dolphin. And I don't eat the mahi, by the way, because just in case that he doesn't like, like it. The guy devoured that fried, that, that beer-battered kingfish in, like, seconds. He's like, that was the best dolphin I've ever had. And I didn't really even touch my food. I kind of had a little bit because I was afraid, but he ate it so fast. And I, I just started laughing. I was like, dude, you just ate the beer battered kingfish. And he looked at me with a blank stare. He's like, okay, I'll never complain again about the kingfish. <laughs> <laughs> so beer battered, fresh at Habano's. Something about that beer batter, like yeah, because it's not like a super fried thing. No, no, it's, it's light. It's light, and they just they they crush it. I don't know, but anyway, so <laughs> hopefully we made everyone hungry. <laughs> so, but anyways, with some French fries yeah, and some oh fries my god, too. some some hush puppies, and so anyways, that's a it's a little like it's just a little place, and it's like a good sense of what the keys is, mm-hmm. like. If you want something that's like it's, and then I believe in supporting places like that because those are the places that I go eat when I go on vacation. Right, the locals. I, the local, local places, places. Yeah. yeah, locals. Local places. Yep. Then they're owned by a local local family. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, that I thought I'd end with that funny story. <laughs> That's amazing. So, anyone, if you wish to connect with me, it's melindavanfleet.com, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. And, yeah, everything's on my website, so let's just keep it simple. Yep, yep, and you can uh, reach out to me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram, goodkarmasportfishing underscore FL underscore keys. And then then I've got my um, YouTube channel that I'm, you know, putting some – it's it's fun to see the videos on there. So Yeah, um, you're you over know. a 1,000 subscribers now. Yeah, yeah. Thank they, you. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. It's funny is, is that I started that YouTube channel way, way, And getting him to go back. back on YouTube, let me tell you, has not been yeah, a no. highlight of my life. No, I didn't want to. Finally. Wanna, yeah. He's been resisting YouTube forever. Yeah, many, many, Just many so years. so silly because he's so great yeah. on camera. Yeah. So. So slowly but surely. So appreciate it, it, yeah, that. Yeah. I don't have a lot of time to film a lot of content because I'm. Busy. Busy. But as I get some good content, then I'll put it out there and and stuff. So yeah, yeah. awesome, awesome. So thank you, everyone. Thanks for listening. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thanks for hanging with us. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good. <laughs>